This is the KOBK News for January and February of 1917. Steve Granning reporting. Many in Steele County celebrated the beginning of 1917 with the return of our soldiers in Company I from the Mexican border. On the evening of Wednesday, January 24th, they received a hero's welcome as a huge crowd waded through cold temperatures and deep snow to greet our soldiers at Union Depot. Flags had gone up all around Owatonna earlier that day in anticipation of the event to come. A parade was led by Mayor James DeMint, complete with fireworks and deafening cheers from the crowd. A parade led to the Armory, where the members of Company I met their family and friends and headed for the Congregational Church for a banquet. They then returned to the Armory, where Attorney A.L. Sperry served as Master of Ceremonies. In speeches made during the event, Captain M.S. Williamson thanked the crowd for the support from home they were given. He also spoke the importance of keeping Company I together in the future. Mayor DeMint offered greetings and thanks for what the soldiers had accomplished. A song dedicated to Company I was sung. Feller's orchestra played as soldiers danced until late in the evening. However, as the soldiers return, there is a question of whether Company I will stay in existence. Due to a new federal law, a National Guard unit must maintain a peacetime strength of 65 members, and they must take a new oath making them subject to the call of the President and six years service. This is not popular with many of the men, and the unit is only a month to meet the new requirements. In a prepared treatise on rural schools from the State Board of Education, there are some disappointing figures on attendance. The average per pupil absentee rate is 36%. This is a huge waste of tax dollars and takes teaching time from the teacher and other students when the absent child returns. While there are legitimate reasons for the absences, the major one was non-caring by the students and parents. A solution offered was to write parents of frequently absent students in rural schools on a regular basis about the problem. Where this has been done, attendance has shown strong improvement. It appears that a $300,000 packing plant may not be built in Owatonna after all. Over 500 stockholders of Farmers Cooperative Packing have passed a resolution to vote on the question of liquidating the assets of the company and discontinue the business. The meeting was highly volatile, with emotions and confusion running high on both sides of the issue. A March 2nd date was set for the Board of Directors to count the votes that would be submitted to all stockholders. The KOBK Centennial News has been provided by the Steele County Historical Society preserving and sharing history today for tomorrow.